Hey guys, welcome to my August plan with me video. This month in my bullet journal, I decided to make the theme waves because August is the last summer month and I haven't done a water theme yet. So before we get started, I just wanted to flip through my July pages to show you how I ended up filling them out. If you haven't seen my July plan with me video yet, please go watch that. So I didn't end up using the list calendar as much, so I'm not going to use that this year. And I filled in all of the pages pretty well. I filled out my books read and movies watched um, pages just like I thought I would, as well as the routines. And the first week I ended up filling in quite a lot, but the second week I left some blank pages in the weekly spread, so I decided for the third week to make it into a list, a one-page list instead, because I didn't have that many things to do. Then in between the third and the fourth week, I had some other pages like a 31-day meditation challenge with little prompts and mantras. And then this is the fourth week, which is still ongoing. So for the title page, I decided to do my version or my little mediocre quality copy of Hokusai's Great Wave, which you can see on the screen, uh, because I've known this painting for a long time and I've always found it incredibly beautiful. And also it matches the theme really well. So, so I tried making that. This was really tedious, but I found it kind of fun actually, drawing the little froth pieces or whatever those are. Then I did the monthly overview for which I drew little waves which like halfway covered up the August banner and then I filled them in with little wavy lines in varying directions and I did the same thing inverted at the bottom to make it match. Under that, I wrote a quote which was wave themed, which said, let the waves wash you away, because there was some extra space that I wanted to fill out. Then I did my workout calendar as usual, and I wrote the banner in just plain all caps, and then drew little lined waves next to the banner. Then I did my YouTube growth tracker and I just filled in the YouTube play button with some more lined waves to match the theme. Then I did my monthly goals and instead of bullet points, I did little waves which were surrounded by more wavy lines. Then I moved on to my habit and mood trackers and I kept the format of these the same. So for the habit tracker, I wrote the word habits in varying styles and sizes of bubble letter and I filled them all in with the wavy lines in varying directions. And then to fill up the rest of that space, I just did some lined waves. Then I wrote out the days of the week and the dates under each other and left some space on the left for the habits that I'm gonna write. Then for the mood tracker, I decided to go back to using the smiley faces, so I just outlined some smiley faces in three different emotions. Moved on to the video ideas page, which I merged with the brain dump page because in the summer, I don't feel like I use my brain dump page as much. And I always usually doodle on the bottom of my video ideas page. So I decided to just put both of them on the same page and save some space. So the footage cut out for my brain dump section, but basically, the banner is just more wavy lines. Then I kind of ran out of inspiration, so I left it and came back a couple days later, but it was dark when I finally figured out what to do with the rest of my spread, so I didn't get to film that. So as you can see, I found the title page a bit bland, so what I did was I drew some more waves in varying directions in with like filled in with little lines the same way I had throughout the entire thing. 
I also added a morning and night routine section to the workout calendar and growth tracker page because as I'm traveling I tend to have different routines when I'm staying in different places. Then I didn't change anything on the habit tracker, video ideas, and brain dump pages because I was pretty satisfied with those and I knew I would end up filling them in anyway. And then I did my first weekly spread, which I did a bit differently. I did a sidebar with the seven days of the week and I colored it in or filled it in in the same lined waves that I did on the title page and throughout the entire spread. And then I did little flags filled in with the same lined waves as the banners for the days and I also made a little note section. And then at the bottom of my weekly spread I did some line like line waves the same way I did on the habit tracker and in the monthly overview. Overall I'm really satisfied with this month, I'm really happy with it. Um, please leave a comment with some suggestions for September's theme. Thank you guys so much for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!